Hi everybody. Welcome to the Big Vito brand and Big Vito. He's actually getting to drive his sports car. I promised Vince he would eat, so I made him eat. But then, what did my mom do to you? She punched me. In the face? Because I wanted to pick up the check. She punched me in the face. She goes, no. It's love. It's love. Then she hugged you, though. After she took the check when she punched you in the face. And tossed your Louis Vuitton bag to you, too. So you could get your car out. <laughs> And I said to her those magic words, do you want your daughter back? She said no. My dad would want me back. Oh, Madalena says, yay, Vito's back. Hi, Maddie. Yeah, Vito's back for just a little bit. He came to pick up his car. He also came to see me a little. I got the car and see my wife. Driving around things on my walker getting it right there. So do you have any special messages to say to your Philadelphia peeps? It's good to be back. I was freezing my ass off. That's why I'm wearing this long sleeve shirt. And, and a little hat. Uh, he thinks it's cold and it's like 80 degrees and he's freezing. Oh no. Are you going to wash your car or are you going to see your friend? Oh my goodness, he has to always wash his car. I haven't seen it a lot of people. I'm trying to see everybody. He's before. trying to run around and see everybody before he leaves because everybody knows that we sold the house. So we only have to the end of the month to move. So Big V's got to run around and say hi to everybody that he loves before we move. Although everybody is welcome to come down and visit us in the happiest place on earth. So he's uh, running around uh, looking for his uh, people. This is Vito's favorite gas station car wash here. His buddy owns it. My grandfather used to own this car wash back in the day. My dad worked here. My grandmother, great grandmother pumped gas over there. And we were a bunch of uh, uh, gas station owners in our family back in the day. And now we all went into entertainment. Well, I guess we're still in the entertainment. So he's going and checking out his, uh, his peoples. Oh, hello. So I, don't see you for a while. I know I haven't been around. How are you doing? I'm, good, How about you? I'm pretty good. I'm so far. Okay, not too okay. bad. You take care of you? Always. Call me. If you don't take care of you, I'll beat him. I'll call you. I, I swear I'll, I'll call you. I will beat him with strap. Uh, <laughs> he will kick your butt if you're not nice to me. <laughs> our friends. You still run around and say hi to all of our friends. <laughs> I think he just wants to wipe it off. He, he loves this car. Let's get wiped. But <laughs> he's gonna. It's good to see uh, you too. <laughs> All right. I popped the magic hood. Cause you're the magic man. It says it's popped. I'm telling you, that button doesn't do the gimmick. You gotta do the button on the thingy. You gotta hit the button. Yeah, it's the button on the yeah. On your key fob. Yes, Noel and Vito are back together. <laughs> we are back together, at least for today. Oh, the roof is going up. <laughs> we'll take you through my pop's old car wash that now our buddy owns. So yeah, this is this was my grandfather's car washing gas 
station. And all my family used to work here, except me. I wasn't around yet, but this was Pops. He had this one and he had one down the street. So, Beatty's putting the top up. There you go. He's putting the top up because we're going to go through the car wash. Wait, it's tight here with this walker. <laughs> my walker's in the car with us. Sorry, I got close to my face there. People are happy we're back together again. <laughs> he hears you. He came up for visitation. <laughs> Looking like a thug. Hope good. everybody's good out there. We're just taking care of some last minute family business. You know? Good to see my buddy in the car wash and all my peeps here. <laughs> they always take care of they always take care of me. I got it. One thing I will say about this place, got a good town, good people. Everybody's very cool. We oh, is that your boy? That's my boy. <gasps> Ham Ham Hickolo. This is Ham Ham, Ham, Ham Bigolo. This Ham, is Ham Ham Jigolo. Vito's friend, Ham Ham Jigolo. <laughs> He's like Vito's best pal. He loves him. Watch this. Yeah. Ham Ham. Ham Ham. <laughs> That's Vito's best pal. Ham ham. <laughs> ham ham. <laughs> he loves him. <laughs> now they're now they're cool. Yeah, ham ham gigolo. That's, dude, I'm telling you, that's that dude's gimmick. He knows everything about wrestling ever. He will get out of that car and tell Vito every match he has ever had. This is, this is V's hangout. He loves the car wash. But he especially loves his buddy, Ham Ham. <laughs> get him looking, because he knows I'm taping him up. <laughs> They're gonna start messing with each other. He told them, where, where's your wife at? Everybody here loves me, they go after Vito. You're still on. <laughs> You're such a goof. You're still on. What? You're still on P marking out for ham ham. <laughs> this is only the second time Vito's got to drive his car. He bought it and then drove another car to Florida. I left this one here and I don't drive. So it's been sitting at the house. And then nobody I know drives stick shift. It's a stick shift. So it's just been sitting in the house. It was sunny. The sun went in. Getting ready for um, Nick G's graduation tonight. So we're just getting everything hooked up. They're so funny. He's gonna hit him with the Dudley boys. Egg sandwich boys. <laughs> you're so happy to see your boy. Look at your smile. An egg sandwich boy. He loves him, ma'am. That is his boy. What better? He's working that clutch. <laughs> you working that clutch, babes. Yes, but it's the slippers that are making me. I know. He's got he has the flip flops on and his foot keeps slipping off the clutch. You got it. You got it. Hey. 
Hey, how are you, honey? I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. I, you know, you get tired looking at his ex behind himself all the time. Oh, I on, know, man. right? I, I love talking to you about wrestling and everything uh, else. I know. You're on you're on Vito's channel right now. You're on my channel yeah. right you're now. You're on the big hey, Vito man. brand right now. Yeah, I know. Give me a shout, man. <laughs> Someone would drop your ass. <laughs> my babe, Ham Ham. All we up, Vito. All we up. Gotcha. All we up. Okay, we're going in my pop's car wash. Right. Good. You know, let's get the super deluxe button. You know, the magic button. Okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I'm staying in. Two. He said staying in or getting out. Yeah. Staying in. I'm staying in, my man. All right. We'll ride it through. If you can watch the tires and everything, get yourself going, man. The, I always like that sign that says undercarriage wash. The sign over there says, "Do you want your undercarriage washed?" You gonna you gonna let them undercarriage wash you? Yeah. Wash a little bit of your undercarriage. It's your first car wash in your new car. This really is the first car wash in the new car. It is. You look disturbed a little. Like you turned your face funny. Like it is. Ooh, it's hot in here. When the probably not for you. You're probably comfortable finally. Don't do the car wash. Vito and Noel together again. Yeah, that's it. You know how it is, you know, being at the car wash, seeing my hoodie friends and shit, you know, talking gangster, being thug life and everything. They don't understand that, that, you know, it's a magical thing. <laughs> under you know? under carriage wash, that sounds like a personal question. That's the same thing I always say, Jay. No, I'm telling you, you know, how, how many peeps we got on here, you know what I mean? I don't know, I can't see. That's right, look at the button there, look at the big, Big Vito brand wash that we getting right here. You know what I'm saying? Exterior, full stairs. Oh, you're getting spray. you're getting your rust inhibitor. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And your undercarriage. That means I'm gonna be your magic man. Oh, you're starting with the magic man again. The Big Vito brand. Back to the Big Vito. That's the way it is, man. We were all here. Good to be back in PA. See my old boys. You know, I hope everybody out there is doing good. This is the first official car wash in the new car. So it's pretty exciting. Yeah, you get excited because you get your car washed. You know, but, I get, but the thing is, guys, is that when I go do the car wash and I see my all my boys, I have a good relationship with all the community here. So oh, everybody loves you. I always take care of me and I always take care of them. So that's why it's always a pleasure to come back and see the guys and do stuff and everything. So. No I'm, I'm gonna miss not being here because we've been out and how many people have we just run into? My parents we ran into just randomly, girls in the bank, yeah. went over and saw yeah. Jeff at the bank, come over car wash. It's my last time going through my pop's car wash. Last yeah, time. Last time. Last time. And this is where I always get my car done, you know what I mean? This is the soft touch place. Yeah. You know, this is like, you know, being home. You know, I always get, I never say nothing bad about the state of Pennsylvania as far as the people and the place and the people are tremendous. The place is great. You have a question. It's just like, you know, just for everybody's knowledge, you know, just Pennsylvania life. You know, dealing with the cold weather, the snow and everything, it's just not my cup of tea. Not like being the cold and, and having an effect on my body and everything. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing about everything. Yeah, Plus, so we kind of had dreams that we had to put on hold because of my health. Yeah, so I mean, guys, you know, I think, you know, being in Florida and everything, I helped a lot better for everybody. Yeah. And everybody's moving. Like, it's not just us. Like, Everybody's my sister. Well, my sister's not moving to Florida. That looks pretty. Doesn't that look pretty, guys? The pink and blue. Isn't that pretty, honey? So what? Isn't that pretty, pretty? The pink and blue. Pretty. It's pretty. Um, the question is: Did you hear that David Arquette is coming back to wrestling, legit? And he's calling himself the Magic Man. He's going to wrestle. He's legitimately wrestling. To do what? Wrestle. 
he wants to do it, I guess, because everybody broke his balls so much about being WCW champion. He's going to go out there and prove he can do it. He's been training and everything. Yeah, what if he comes back into wrestling and he's amazing? Does that mean, like, Vince was totally justified? <laughs> like, everybody's going to have to eat shit because, like, the top wrestler today is going to be David Arquette, the magic man? You just started calling yourself the magic man and the gimmick's already taken you. You just said it. This today. No, yesterday. First, I heard you say it. Coming out in beautiful Pennsylvania. Sorry, my walker's in the way, guys. This car is not walk friendly. Sun's coming back out, it looks like. He's getting the dry off from his undercarriage. Is your undercarriage feeling clean? Polished. Jay says he loved getting color this week. <laughs> the marks out yet guys <coughs> I want to be able to watch it before I go to next graduation I shouldn't really have to watch it <laughs> I just want to watch me toast Meltzer's buns again plus Ben Hameen pretty much the coolest dude ever totally ever All right. wouldn't you agree yep yep a lot of knowledge and wisdom dropped by Vito. Say what? How can I help you today? Yeah, you supposed to wipe down the car for me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can wipe it down, yeah. Wipe it down, <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to open up the hood because I had it sitting for a while. Okay. Long He's going to uh, yeah. do his deal did here. Me, did they vacuum it back there? No, nah, you're not. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, no, the way suit and clean. I just bought it. Yeah, it's, it's dropped. Yeah, I didn't know yet. Oh, I wow. know. That's what I was looking at. It's, it's me, like, and it's going to, let me tell you something. It's going to be an awesome episode because when me and Ben popped in, it's guessing, and uh, yeah, man, Vince and Jeff were going at it. I, and I've, I've seen Vince and Jeff have, have just, yeah, words, joke here and there. Man! <laughs> Love what you've been doing with the freedom here. Thank you. We keep trying to expand. I keep doing it. It keeps my mind sharp. There's going to be a lot more new stuff coming up in July. A lot of stuff in July, right, babe? Yep. New Big Vito stuff in July. Um, right now, we're just trying to get no, touched no, with everybody no. and uh, all of these fans and all my peeps. What up, peeps? Yes, last, last night, uh, we recorded castrating, and oh, my gosh. I have never seen Jeff and Vince kind of like that. I've been there like... <laughs> were they fighting? It was so crazy. But buy your Jeff Lane t-shirt. Like everybody should buy Jeff Lane t-shirt this week and and then say you want to go on castrating the marks. And then then Vince is gonna have to contend with like 37 people on castrating. He's gonna have to figure out how to put them all in. Maybe I'll buy a Jeff Lane shirt. I'll get one. Super white is playing T has been excellent. Thank you very much. Jess and I have been putting in like a ton of work and we're trying to kind of um, take the spilling the reality and we're we're putting some of our life experiences and things into it. We you know it's hard to just talk about street reality shows all the time, especially because like everybody's getting to know us and like I'm married to Vito, she's Vince's niece. Like we have all these like different insights into things and we love to have fun. Super wifey's just crazy. Like that just started with us just having fun. And now we've got clothing line, we've got all this stuff. Just so cool. It's so neat. I would have never thought we we're almost coming up on a year anniversary. Um for uh, the big veto brand and when we first started I was saying like a sentence and here I am like doing t-shirts and and all this stuff and getting rubbed down over here
Yeah, that's how we are. Girls just want to have fun. Let me tell you, those girls are crazy. After we went off the air last night, South Philly Neen's mom, Big Ange, called. But she was half asleep, and we were trying to ask her. She's she's six, in her 60s, and she's uh, she's got a new guy friend, or she did. And we were trying to ask her questions, but she was so tired, and she couldn't hear us. And we were asking her, is it take the little blue pill? She was out all night party, and we wanted to know the details. So she's going to come on Wifey Show in the next few weeks. We're also planning a not-so-newlywed show with um, me and Vito. Um, and this will be on Super Wifey. Me and Vito, Rocky and Jess, and Danny J and South Philly Neen. I think uh, Maddie might host that for us. Yeah, yo! <laughs> Sorry, we know everybody around here. Um, yeah, I think that she's going to host it. So there's going to be questions and answers to see which spouse knows each other better. We've played this at parties, and Vito and I usually win because we spend, like, we used to spend all of our time together. But I don't know, Jess and Rocky and Dan and Christine have been together, like, 20 some years so I don't know who's gonna win this is gonna be a serious competition so uh, so we're setting that up and that should be good that's always fun you guys been watching um, lost in Saturday morning uh, we uh, we're gonna have a new episode out this week um, all of our stuff from last weekend got wiped because of um, what happened with our friends so we put all of our shows on hold plus Angelo the psychic our dear, dear friend is um, recording a show today, so we'll have him up and out on the brand, I believe, tomorrow. So we'll try to keep the content fresh. This week's just been a little bit crazy. If you guys um, haven't got a chance, please go check out my video. Um, it's called This is Stephanie, and I want everybody to know Stephanie. And if you guys have the means, please donate to her children called the Maddie and the funeral expenses. They have a lot of legal expenses. Um, Vito's been helping with the legal stuff. So hopefully um, that will, it's almost to its goal. When we made the video and put it out, it had $1,000 in the GoFundMe. And now I think as of this morning, they were up to $18,000. So please keep sharing. Please keep sharing that. The most important thing is, is that she wasn't just the wife of a wrestler. She wasn't just the person that lived in the house. She was a wonderful person that everybody should get to know about and hear about. And you know what, guys? Domestic violence is a really, really bad thing. I experienced it when I was younger. Uh, I'm lucky to have such a wonderful husband who takes good care of me. Hi, <laughs> babe. Two pockies yelling outside the car. <laughs> I like you to have such a wonderful husband, but a lot of people aren't so lucky. And there, there's a way out. We tried everything to get Stephanie. So I'm hoping that this video will help people and it'll let people know Stephanie and you get to see her beautiful children and Colton and Maddie who we love and you know it, it'll be good for everybody to learn share it there's a hotline number on there um, and then if you look in the description below it will tell you um, uh, about the GoFundMe and you can go and see Stephanie's story getting color this week is gonna be really good um, I sat I sat in to listen with uh, with the infants, and um, it's gonna be really good. I think if you are a professional wrestler and you're listening and you're hearing this, it might be worth a listen. Kind of a public service announcement. And a lot of people that know a lot of things should listen. Like Dave Meltzer, he should listen. He doesn't know as much as he thinks. I mean, literally. <laughs> Nothing. Angelo followed me on Twitter. I popped tears. I followed him back, of course. Angelo's the best. He's so cool. 100% accuracy. So way better than Dave Meltzer. <laughs> way better. In fact, if you want your wrestling predictions, get in touch with Angelo. And um, he does a better job than um, Dave Meltzer. 100% accuracy. He has changed so many people who didn't believe over. I'd love to get Vince on with him. I know that um, Ben did a show with him for us, which was cool. Um, so we we definitely, I, I, he does, he's just like so on the fence. Like, I guess it's kind of scary because he is really accurate. And I, Rocky wasn't a believer. He was like, I like Angelo and he's cool, but you know, I don't know. And when we had him on, changed his mind. So that's all you got to do is you got to uh, check him out, hit him up. He's somebody that doesn't charge anybody for his services, which is amazing, but that's his deal. He will, he will not charge anybody money. 
we hit him up all the time and ask him and sometimes he knows before I even tell him what I'm going to ask him or what I'm going to say or what I need to know. It's so cool. He's such a cool dude. Just chilling, waiting. Has there been any questions or anything that's watching or on Twitter or on YouTube? Ah. Just waiting for him to get done the washing of the vehicle. Oh, he's going to put the top back on. It's going up. That's why my hair's in a messy bun. Don't, don't tell anybody that makes fun of the messy bun like Jess and Vince. <laughs> Just putting the lid up. Maybe. I don't know what he's doing back there. So I'm kind of taking like my last trip around with me. I've heard a lot of good things about Cobra Kai. We actually did a pretty cool discussion on Cobra Kai. Um, if you if you missed that Lost in Saturday morning, um, me, Rocky, and Danny J talked about how um, Johnny is possibly not the bad guy. So if you want to uh, see that awesome discussion i have so much fun with with uh dan and rocky doing these shows because um like Vito doesn't watch this kind of stuff and and their wives don't watch that kind of stuff so we just get together and like talk about it and like we know like all the same stuff about it and we so it's pretty cool what is Vito doing I think he's putting the top up hey i'm taking kind of my last my last look around before i leave my hometown with the last tour because I will be moving. Hair looks great because I use dry shampoo. Lost in Saturday mornings is great too. Thank you. We enjoy doing it. There'll be a new episode this weekend and record it Friday night with the boys. It'll be out Saturday morning. I think, I don't even remember what we're going to talk about. I heard Dan talk about, say we're going to talk about Westworld not the show the original movie so if you've never seen it um yul brenner's in it and he looks just like Vito. so in fact the first time i saw it i sent a picture to my daughter and i was like oh my god your stepfather's in this movie and she thought it was real speaking of which i don't know if Vito realizes this, this but Vito has a movie coming out on september 20th in a theater near you eigen drago is definitely a bad guy just saying no way dude no way wife probably a bad guy he has no idea amateur olympian rules are different in amateur olympics like i totally defend the fact that i don't think ivan drago was a bad guy he was used by his government definitely used by his government but like rocky and dan and i have definitely an obscure view of the world that we all share oddly enough we all share the same obscure view but watch the movie again drago is like totally confused he has no idea what's going on. And then she even says, my husband's confused. He doesn't know what's going on. He's scared. He's getting death threats. He doesn't even know. He didn't deserve that. Not a professional fighter thrown into a, a mix of ridiculousness. Look at Vito. He's so cute. <laughs> he's cold. It's like 80 degrees. I'm dripping sweat. And he's wearing a wool hat and a long sleeve shirt. Like, I can't even. Everybody's beeping because they see him. They see him outside the car, so they're beeping at him. It's life. Waiting for him to get back in. Like he's seriously going to drive this car a thousand miles. Like, like it's super fresh now he always looks young now he he might look younger than me and i'm like a lot younger than he is i don't know he's just got it like that made him eat today for everybody that's been saying he looks oh thank you it's a pretty awesome shirt it's one of my favorites for everybody that wanted to know i made Vito go eat lunch <laughs> everybody says he's too skinny any new episodes of exposed coming up Everybody loved Exposed. That was something Nina and I just did on the fly because she didn't realize Vito turned her into Maury. I mean, is there anybody that wants to come on the show and expose something to anybody? I'll do it with Nina. We'll do it. We'll expose it to him. Big V and I will do it together. You just hit me back. Let me know. We'll expose things. 
Hey, Vito. Ah, you can't hear me. Wiping your car down. Summer, summer, summer time. Summer time. I sing amazing. Plus, they said you look super young. I don't know. I told you I can't see. <laughs> he forgets I'm blind. <laughs> I look at his legs too. He's all in shape. I don't know where his butt went though. Wax on, wax off. He's uh, he's training for the All Valley Karate Tournament. He's representing the Lagrasso Dojo. Oh, that's a T-shirt that's happening today. Did you guys buy a Lagrasso Dojo t-shirt? Wax on, wax off. Staten Island All Valley Tournament. <laughs> Five boroughs. I disappear behind the car again. I never seen anybody love to watch wash his car as much as my husband used to wash his car. This is not what I had planned. Cobra Grasso. <laughs> yes. My my nephew Morty had a birthday party last weekend and he had a Grinch themed birthday party, right? My sister puts up a Christmas tree, does the whole nine yards. So I always dress up in, in a costume for his my nephew's parties. Oh, here goes the top. Oh, I, like. I always dress up for my nephew's parties. So I had to be Cindy Lou Who from my Grinch. There's my homie back there. So I said I was Cindy Lou Who Grasso. It went over big. Had the wig, the whole nine yards. Kid loves me. Like I say, his favorite person. Are you done yet? I don't think he's done yet. This is not what I had planned. Could drive a thousand miles, get the quadrity all over again. But he's gotta see his boys before he leaves. Feel better now? He's got that and my car has to be clean. Because it's the, it looks like a vet. He loves that the hood opens. The opposite way. <laughs> Cindy Lou Who Grasso, that's not. I come up with tons of things like this. The other day, um, my daughter and her partner, I had to ask them to help me with doing some um, mulching projects, and I said I would sing her praises on social media. So she said, um, you know, I, I asked her, I said, how do you want me to sing it? Like, gangster rap, uh, power ballad? She says, power ballad. I said, GNR, Skid Row. Uh, that's not magic the magic band. <laughs> now it's not a vet. Not a vet. <laughs> We looked for a Corvette that Vito could fit in, and that didn't work. So we got we have a, got a Solstice because we wanted it because the back of it looks like a Batman car. He hasn't driven it anyway. Um, what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. I started telling a story. Oh, so she said Journey instead of like JNR Skid Row. So I took a Journey song and I sang over it completely on the fly. Vito is so skinny now. He can fit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. His shoulders are really wide. They're talking about you being skinny on here. Who is? And the people on the tube. What are you talking about? On the big Vito I'm brand. Me shape. Me shape. Diesel. They said you could fit in that Corvette now because you got so skinny. Because they thought they're like, this is not a Corvette. No, he just likes the top like a Corvette. Oh, yeah, he couldn't fit his ass in the Corvette. <laughs> You're too wide. His shoulders are really big. Look at that, the magic man is back. The magic man. Oh, yeah. I love driving my convertible. I love driving in my car. I like being outside. I like being the outdoors. <laughs> I like being free. He says, but I'm jealous. I wish I had your problem with being skinny. Who's calling? I don't want to answer. Oh, you don't want to answer? It's because I can't talk on the phone. And, and drive. drive. Yeah, yeah, well, we got to replace the radio. the radio. He can't drive stick and talk on the phone. Chew bubble gum and walk. But 
This car is looking pristine right now. We just gotta get some touch up paper because there's a fucking scratch on it. He takes it out one time and it got scratched in the parking lot at the restaurant. Vito's in better shape than most of the WWE roster. That's it. <laughs> Don't encourage him. I'm trying to make him eat. Vince and I are on a mission. Vince said you gotta eat a whole pizza. You're next getting color. Next week. Next week, Vito will eat a pizza and get in color, so you're gonna wanna tune in for that. Yeah. Do you know what you're talking about? No idea. No clue? Surprise. That's why we have you tune in. Tune in. Where are we going now? Now he's got to go get touch up paint. Getting pizza instead of getting color. Getting pizza. That's whole Vito's whole website's about pizza. So my, so my whole life is pizza. His, he loves the pizza. No, they knew that person. <laughs> That's why they're beefing. I just wanted to fit in. He felt left out. Occasionally he does this and it backfires. Why would you pay all that money for a Porsche and get a Porsche minivan? I would never get a Porsche minivan. That's because it could be a ghetto. That's because it could be a salvage. That's because it could be a wreck. And because it's a wreck and a salvage, it costs three times less than what it would to drive it. So Yeah, but maybe they just wanted a Porsche minivan. No, not, or a Ferrari not, not minivan. The hood. You don't drive a Porsche in the hood, maybe. Not in the Love my Vito Pizza shirt from Collar and Elbow. Yeah, Jay has the. You're on the website, Jay. You're on our uh, site in your um, Collar and Elbow Big Vito shirt. Thinking about putting out a line of Vito shirts um, in his own store, like a whole line. Big Vito and Stevie Cool need to tag again. Make the WWE great again. Yeah, those two are seriously funny. What is with all the traffic around here? Something's wrong. I've never sat in traffic on this hill. I've lived here all my life. It smells like natural gas. You smell it? No, babe. Maybe it's just you. Oh, hey, nothing's worse than a stick shift on a hill and a bad back and traffic. I don't understand. Never traffic on this thing here. Well, maybe there was an accident or something. So yeah, it's just people wanting to be slow drivers. That's not really what it actually looks like. Are you guys still in Florida or are you still live in Pennsylvania? We're in Pennsylvania right now. Hi, I'm Noel. Hi, I'm Vito. There's an accident up the hill. Told you. Vito in the stick shift on the hill is awful. <laughs> I can't laugh. Okay, so Vito's home to see. What are you? What are you home for? What are you home for? What are you home for? To see my wife get my car. See his wife get his car. In that order. Let's not make any any you know anybody go on you know Meltzer or anything like that. Stop pushing propaganda. I came for the car. Then my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Your episode of Castrating the Marks go out today. Jay said it dropped today, so it's out. That might have been the foulest promo I've cut ever. But I apologize to you for using the foul language. I just don't I just don't like Dave Meltzer. No, this man has a lot to say about, you know, stuff that definitely doesn't concern. I love how somebody that never stepped foot in a wrestling ring considers himself such a wrestling expert. To me, that's ridiculous. Vito, can you hook a brother up with a nutrition plan whenever you're free? Yes, I can. Want me to give you the best four dollar diet you could do, guys? You want to lose seven to ten pounds in a week? Drink a gallon of water a day. Cut out all your pastas, all your baked potatoes, all your rice, all your macaroni, all your fatty foods, all your greasy foods, all your takeout foods. The diet I want to tell everybody right now is the Special K diet. A cup in the morning, an actual cup with some skim milk. You will have a salad with a piece of grilled chicken or a can of tuna fish with balsamic vinaigrette. Then at six o'clock, no later than seven, you have dinner. It is a, a cup of Special K. 
In the first week, you will lose seven to 12 pounds. In the second week you are on this, you will lose one pant size. It has been noted, it is tested, it is positive. I give this to a lot of people. I've told this to a lot of different people. It works, guys. You just gotta stick with it. If you're hungry and you feel like you're gonna pass out, carrot sticks, celery sticks, plain. Now, if you're gonna do this and want a good diet that's costing you $4, that's the best $4 diet you can ever have. And there you have it. <laughs> the Big Vito, the big diet, Vito of diet of Champions. Diet of Champions. And this, is, and this is if you work out on top of it, if you do something. I'm not telling, saying you have to go run miles, but even if you walk, if you stretch. Hold on a second. It You will find that at 38. Look, 38 on the timestamp. He says, thank you, Vito. He's going to write the diet down. So I timestamp him. God, you can continue. So if you exercise on top of it, guys, it's a bonus. And you'll be able to lose the weight even faster and you feel better and there's no you know other way to explain that health is important diet is important but if you get on this plan and you can do two weeks in your third week you have a sunday which is a cheat day and on that cheat day on sunday you can eat whatever you want right but you're going to find that you don't want it and you like the way you look you like the way you feel you like the way your skin is you like the, you know how you're turning out and if you're not dropping pounds, you're losing inches. That's why you're gonna lose the pant size, guys. And it's not as much as the pounds, it's the inches. Especially for women, this uh, diet is really good for women because it gives them their curves back. Curves them is the waist, curves them in the tunny, curves them in the bottom. And if they do the, the uh, three diamond look, which is putting your uh, calves together and seeing the diamonds going all the way up to see if your body is proportioned, guys. And that is what you want. You want proportions in your body. That's how mine is. I have the three diamonds. Okay. So, guys, wait a second. You know, what? What's your go-to workout? I like to circuit train every day. I do uh, a couple exercises for each body part every day, from squats to um to crunches between every set to uh, two chest, two back, two. Uh, buys, he said his, buys, his gym is overcrowded. But you don't. But if you don't need to do everything on the machines, you could do free weights and use the pick out the exercises to use free weights to get the body part in. So guys, there are ways to get this done. If you know how to work out, you'll be able to utilize the gym to your full advantage. Doesn't matter if it's if it's uh, crowded. Any more nutritional questions for Vito? Any more what? Nutritional questions for you, Vito. Any driving tips? Any what? Driving tips. Driving tips? Yeah. When you have a stick, you need a, uh, a Bluetooth radio. <laughs> so this way you can listen to the phone, answer your phone calls. Can't do much when you're driving a stick. You gotta pay attention to the road. This is the best way not to look at Facebook while you're doing your thing. Which is good for you because you have a habit. You know, plus, you know, being in a convertible, driving, being free, having a top open. I think it's the best way. This is my second, my third convertible that we own. And uh, I'm very happy with it. You know, next is changing the Hummer to get a different vehicle. I haven't decided. You're getting a Denali like Dice. I already know that's what I'm going to do. Andrew Dice playing his show had a Denali, and that was the man car. But the car I really want is an Escalade EXT. That is the next vehicle I would like to own. We've had trouble finding one. But we're not going to collect cars anymore, right? Okay, because for a while we were collecting cars. Let's now we have two car. houses and two cars. It's now getting let's ridiculous. That Corvette that I want. We have to find the Corvette that Vito fits in. Oh, happy graduation to Nick G. Thank you. Nick graduates today. Nick G's graduating today. I'm trying to talk B into going to the graduation, but I think he's going to not <laughs> go. But I want him to go. I'll live stream it for Vito. 
we can watch Nick get his diploma. Right, babe? Ouch. <laughs> so I think I'm going to end this here so I don't get car sick. So give everybody your shout outs. Alright guys, catch Big Vito Brand on BigVito.com. Check out Getting Color. We've been for a show at the Realm Network. 